Streamcliff Farm can provide you with a lot of food for thought. But fortunately, when you get really hungry and thirsty, they can help with those things too. As you might imagine, the high season for a restaurant that prominently features herbs and food is going to be April through mid-October. But special candlelight dinners are held at the Streamcliff Farms winery, by reservation only, throughout the year. Winemaker Gerald Manning gave us a brief behind-the-scenes tour before lunchtime. We started at the winery, named for Southern General John Hunt Morgan, who visited Streamcliff during the somewhat less than civil war between the states. The Twigs and Sprigs restaurant features appetizers, salads, side dishes, sandwiches, and entrees, all highlighting particular herbs and paired with the Streamcliff Farm wines. Located adjacent to the greenhouses, the interior has been painted by Betty Manning and Elizabeth Manning Riley. We want to make a memorable experience for our guests. When they walk in that door and they smell that fresh bread baking, that's such a great memory for them. We use the herbs that we grow in our greenhouses in our dishes so that each plate that goes out has fresh herbs and an edible flower. We make our wines in handcrafted small batches, which make them very unique and very delicious. It's unusual to find a restaurant that will grow their own herbs, bake their own bread, and make their own wine. I wanted to sample several of their flavor combinations. I started with the vegetable medley cheese soup in a fresh baked bread bowl and a taste of my dolly, a Chardonnay with a hint of oak. The crisp green apple and apricot tones of the Chardonnay contrast against the rich, creamy soup. I tried the blueberry walnut salad with the spotted horse Riesling, which is comprised of gorgonzola cheese, grilled chicken, fresh blueberries, caramelized walnuts, red onions, and homemade croutons served with the house creamy blueberry dressing. Salty sweet walnuts and bright fresh fruit. Next up was the tomato mozzarella sandwich with the fancy Philly, a semi-sweet traminette. The fresh baked basil and oregano focaccia is loaded with fresh mozzarella, basil pesto, and tomatoes, with a side of herb chips, of course. The garden-grown basil is juxtaposed against the creamy mozzarella and the sun-ripened tomatoes. I tried the pulled pork barbecue sandwich with rawhide, a dry Pinot Noir with a side of dill slaw. The Pinot Noir has a light acidity that works against the sweetness of the pork and the dill in the slaw. New to the menu is the Streamcliff Third Pound Burger, to which I decided to add some of the house-made cilantro lime mayonnaise. Elizabeth suggested the Running Horse Red, a dry Merlot to pair. I also opted for a side of the birdseed salad, bacon, cream, spiral pasta, and fresh veggies. Salty, creamy, sweet, with a touch of dill. By the way, during the summer season, visitors can carry out containers of their most popular menu items, but you have to pick them and the wine up by 4 p.m. Anyone who doesn't get enough to eat at Streamcliff isn't trying very hard. The Blackberry Cobbler, with Grandpa's Blackberry Semi-Sweet, their most popular wine. The Chocolate Explosion with the Pink Pig, Sweet Red with Raspberry Notes, and the Family Secret Recipe Bread Pudding with Bourbon Sauce, paired with Sweet Scarlet, their port-style dessert wine. We've had a very educational trip to Jennings County. It's fascinating to find one of Indiana's first stellar communities, as well as the Muscatatuck Urban Training Center and Museum. The Crosley Fish and Wildlife Area and the Muscatatuck County Park provide so many different types of outdoor activities year-round. The Jennings County Historical Society and the Hayden Museum provide context so that we can better understand the founding of our state, Indiana's involvement during the Civil War, and its evolution during the 20th century. Artist Lori Underwood and Classic Stained Glass are opening a window into the world of stained glass for people who want to preserve a beautiful art form, or those of us who just want to add a little sparkle to our lives. And Streamcliff Farm shares the family's history through their art, plants, garden, food, and wine. Thank you, Elizabeth, for a memorable lunch. To learn more about Jennings County, please visit our website at saverindiana.com. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Savor, Indiana. Also known as Heaven. I was going to say creamy tomatoes and <laughs> fine ripened mozzarella. For Kevin Gardner, for Savor, Indiana. Stream Creek Stream Farm, as you might imagine, 